but I think Fuji is the best option I have for um, this, basically. Yeah, but Tam, the problem that you see is that if I look down another turn, all I've done is live. It doesn't do anything. Like, I haven't developed a board. I have a 5-6 versus a 10-11 that do can't take damage. And, you know, there's nothing doing there. If I had a ward, then I would absolutely give that a shot. Because of what it would do is let me set up a minion in advance and then hit with Azazel's damage and then the minion. Let's see. I mean, that's true. But here's what I will say. I have a hackneyed deck that I made out of cards that I think will mostly work. And if it doesn't work for long enough in ranked then I'll stop playing ranked. But, I don't know. I think there's something to not playing a meta deck and just playing whatever you want. But I don't want to. That's the thing. I would rather play the decks that I think are cool. And I think this is really cool. If you swung into that, I'd super love that. It's not my connection, I swear. I just checked. I will check again. No. We've got a connection. I haven't missed any. There's a 29 milliseconds as opposed to 16 milliseconds on some of them, but... No, this should be fine. Alright. Let me finish my test. Um, this looks like... Yeah. I don't know. I think I would rather take Scarlet Saber and Evolve Her and just have a 3-4 on the board. Because for right now, I don't think I care all that much. So, just go like this. And we'll generate some 1-1s. One but yeah, no, I think it's way more fun not to. Like, I could just reprint that deck, but why bother? Why not build this one where it's cool because I made it with the spare parts I had? Alright. Good play. Really? Oh, man. Yeah, there's that evil point. I knew it was coming. And let's just pick up our sweet, sweet value. Who needs evil points? I've got cards. We're going to Scarlet Saber that card? No doubt in my mind. I don't need to uh, remove the 2-2. Two -two. It doesn't bother me any. Evolving it doesn't do anything to me, and I don't care. So, next turn's probably going to be Wardrobe Braider and Hungering Horde. Because I'll do some hard removal. Yo, Carl, my boy! You can evolve Carl, too. Cool. You want to swing into it? Nice! But here's the thing. I'm not an aggro deck. The reason why that matters so much to me is that I can just remove cards until the end of time and not care. So I'm going to do the Evo play. I know it sets me down an evolution point, but it means that there are no Earth Sigils on their side. I want to save one of my Hungering Hordes, but right now, I'm perfectly happy with the way that went down because they're out of Earth Sigils, which means they have to be played, so that slows them down some, and it means that at least this sort of thing is much less effective. I'm going to have to kill the Oz. Okay. 
Let's see. Is there a way for me to do that? Not easily. So I'm going to play down the serpents and hope. Because if not, then I probably don't have a good chance of winning this. Because I really don't want to just Evo one of those in. That sets me way back. Come on now. Cauldron, fine. Calamitous Curse. Fine, that's fine. All right. We'll go for the aggro play. Hey, aggro plays. Azazel likes to hit your face, hit your face, hit your face. Azazel likes to hit your face. La 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 la. Come on. My Azazel is feeling punchy. Okay. Yo, Levi. Oh, man, I hate you. But you don't do that much right now. Evoing it does nothing to me. Is there anything else you'd like from me? Oh, you're going to charge that in. Not bad. There you go. Let's see. Hungering, not kill Oz. Um, gotta know. We're going back in time a little bit. I'm not sure. So, we got to play down this. And then I will play down this. And that's all I can do. So that's all I will do. Well, we're low on cards now, unfortunately. Let's see. At least it makes the next Levi worse. Yep. Let's see. Oh, excellent. Well, at least I get one thing for free. I get to kill both of those. I'm assuming you're going to kill off the 3-2, then swing in, which is a really sweet deal. But unfortunately, there's not much I can do. But why? But why would you do that? You got such sweet value otherwise. Whatever. Okay, well, there's no sense doing uh, anything else. So I probably... Uh, Dark, that actually sounds like a good weekend. Uh, I'm probably dead. That's fine. I hope I draw the other Azazel. Man, wouldn't that be cool? Alright, that's a dead draw. Come on, keep me alive. Uh, that's not helpful. I'm going to drop it because I don't want it in my hand. Come on! I'm so close. Yes! Dead draws! Come on! Let me kill him! Oh, yes! That's perfect. That reduces the number of dead draws. Come on! I'm so close. I deserve this. I limped my way to victory. <laughs> I swear, if this is Oz, I'm going to be so mad. Hello, Romeo. Welcome. Uh, no. No, it isn't. Mutagenic Bolt. Oh. Well played. Okay, sure. <laughs> Hooray! Do I re still run Mask? I do. Yes. Take. Well, actually, I could say win two games would take an hour. But win four games would take more than an hour. Nope. Cool, that's better. I wonder if this is going to be a Mordecai deck. I wonder if it's just going to be a lead-up of decks that all beat mine. That would be unfortunate. Alright, Baphomet, well-timed. 
well-timed, Baphomet. I appreciate your presence. Next turn, depending on what I think is more valuable, it'll be Vite or Kiss. If nothing, it'll be Vite. Nah, this one is Trade and Play Down Vite. We trade it away and Play Down Vite. Hooray! Oh, Lord. Someday, someday, I will win a game. Yo, zombie party! Really? Ain't no party like a zombie party! Ain't no party like a zombie party! Play down Wardrobe Raider, because why not? Ain't no party like a zombie party! We got Drain next turn if we have to. Other than that, we also have Kiss and Serpent. And beyond that, probably not much else. Yo, it's a soldier! You're not gonna Evo the soldier. There's no way you Evo the soldier. Thank you. Just bolt it out of the way because I don't have anything better to do. So now she's got more shul uh, shadows, and I am eager to see what you do with this. And Drelphus. Last words, draw a card. Draw a curse. Sure. I'm going to play Fang Serpent and pass the turn. Because I don't need to do that. Next turn is more than likely going to be Steno if there's anything I can ping. If it's something that I don't want to ping and have a creature on the board, then I go and always kiss it away. And uh, beyond that, yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. Anything else? Evo it in. Do it. You won't. I bet you won't. Tross Curse. Wow. That's awesome. Thanks for that. Thanks for giving me, like, probably the best Steno turn that exists. Like, there's very few things that would make me happier than this. Bam! So now we've got a decent board. Not great, but it'll do just fine. And honestly having two Tross Curse already is kind of the best. And it's a Tendon of Night. Yo, it's Erd! But have you Erd about the word? b b, -b bird Okay. So, how do we deal with this? Probably gonna be Fenrir. Ooh, maybe not. Scarlet Saber is also pretty nice. So I could just Scarlet Saber this and then uh, ping each of those and play down the kiss. Yeah, that sounds lovely. I waste a lot of healing, but I don't think I care much. No evolution points used. And I've got a sweet board versus a 1-1 that can only hit my face. Sure. That's fine. You could Necro Assassin it. That would be fun. If you Necro Assassin it, I may just play down Revelation. Okay, cool. Ooh, nice. You beckoned! I did not, in fact. Ooh! You have no more room. You know that, right? You could evolve and then play... Oh my golly. Is is it gonna be uh, that big old dude? No? Alright. Alright, let's see. Fenrir is cool. I could Revelation, but that seems overkill. Let's just, I guess, Fenrir. I'll hit this guy. And then we'll Fenrir. Cool! I'm alright with that. 
I still have something that has to be removed. I have Revelation. I have Labyrinth Devil, which can't be activated. Righteous Devil, which can't be activated. I have an Evil Point and Prince of Darkness. So this game goes well. I'm just a little bit afraid because I think I'm going to take like 15 to the face. Okay, sure. Yo, it's Erd! But have you Erd about the word? Ba -ba -ba -bird. And that uh, that's why you swing first. Wow. Will you? Wow. Hmm. Yep, we'll just take care of the board. Okay. So hopefully next turn I get to play Prince and just Evo it. Deathly Tyrant. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Neato! Do you want to see mine? So, maybe I die, maybe I don't. But it consumed 20 sh uh, shadows, and they have no Evo points. So dealing me five actually seems kind of hard. Maybe you can kill me. Ooh, interesting. So you're preparing, right? Ooh, yes, souls. <laughs> They're so fresh. All right. This was always going to be the play. So, I guess I just die. I didn't draw a ward minion, so I was pretty much just like, okay, well, I guess I lose. I don't think that's necessarily against me. Uh, oh well. Your strength is for me. <sighs> No ward. And there's no way I could just draw and not play Azazel, so. Cool. How many games? How many games? How many games do we have to play? Well, someday I will get this mission done. It might be in a week from now. Or I have to switch to an aggro deck, but honestly. Playing aggro decks is miserable for me. Because I'd so much rather just be playing interesting decks. Not just, I played a 1-drop, then I played a 2-drop, then I played a 3-drop. Like, man, if last game I had drawn any of my Vites, any of my... The Mask there, if I had drawn a million things, I would have just won. And I'm pretty sad about that. I just don't seem to be very lucky. I'm probably not going to be lucky here either. We're going to have to play down Vite because the hope is that I will get 1-1s one -ones to trade. This seems like Roach to me or that other one, uh, the Rose Queen one. So let me play Vite. It's going to get auto-removed. I'm going to be sad because that never happens for me. And then we'll continue on. You ready? Auto removed. Ready? Three, two, one. Sylvan Justice. Hey, look at that. It's like I know. Then we can play down Fang Serpent because we didn't draw four drop because there's not enough four drops in the deck. Let me let me be honest with you. I think that one's going to get removed too. But this time, I'm not sure how. Oh, maybe it just gets evoed into. That would be interesting. Yes? No, oh, no! We actually trade. Fascinating. Why wouldn't you take the extra card? All right. Because it might mill you. Allow me. Let's 
Let me mill you a card real quick. Nope. It's not like much different happens. Yes. And how do you choose to remove my card? This time we definitely can't play as Azel. So I don't know what else to play. So we're basically just going to sit on cards again, which is kind of the worst. But oh well, I guess. Neat. Maybe this is finally another just deck that exists instead of, you know, the blank deck. X aggro meta deck that I can't deal with. Ooh. Yeah, we're going with this one. Give me Bahamut. Aw. Alright. Well, I'm not going to play the Hungering Horde because I still fear the super uh, fairy play. And I still have several ways of getting life back, so I'm not really afraid. Oh, yeah! That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I'm going to diabolic, uh, whatever, drain that. Any other ideas? Nope. Drain. Drain it is. All right. That's enough of that. Anything else? Oh, the steward. Hello, steward. Um, I could revelation. That would be fun. Yeah, let's revelation. That'll be fun. It only really destroyed two cards, but I'm okay with that. Because the fairies were essentially just byproducts, but... I'm hoping it's like four fairies in a row. That would be the best. I love that feeling when Hungering Horde does that. Oh, come on. A little more. Man. Alright. What do we do? So. Our plays are... We could play... Hungering Horde. Or a 5 and a 4, which would be something like Scarlet Saber and uh, Wardrobe Raider. Or I could play down Fenner and Baphomet, but the problem is it doesn't actually kill this. So, I like these two. Uh, I don't know, I don't think I'll Evo it, but I can just ping one of these off and then play down the Wardrobe Raider and see what becomes of it. Alright, R2. Have a good rest. Now, because I can kill the uh, ward minion that easily, and I'm not really afraid of it right now, I can just let it ride. Hopefully, eventually, I'll get that mass horde for Hungering Horde and be able to just swipe them off the board. It is... Oh, it's so gratifying when that happens. Alright, that's fine. Alright. But why am I done for? Okay, interesting choice. Sure. Are you going to swing your other two dudes? That'd be fun. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah! Dude, free kills. That's my favorite. Fairy circle. Okay, sure. Fairy. Okay, sure. Now I can choose to take six. And I say choose to take mostly because I'm thinking of playing Fang, Serpent, Hungering Horde, and Scarlet Saber. Uh, other options, not really. Just swapping out one of those for uh, Baphomet. I could just swing Fenrir in, but I don't want to do that. I would much rather... Um, I'd much rather set up some stuff and also get some healing going. So uh, I could Scarlet Saber and kill this and then play Fang Serpent? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess that's probably better. Cool. And we'll keep that on the back burner. 
So now we've got some healing down, which is good. We're still at a healthy life total, which makes it difficult to burst. Um, I still don't know what this deck does, so if anyone has any ideas, feel free to tell me. Um, okay, sure. That's fine. I mean, I'll take minus one on this to kill that, because it still has Bane. But uh, instead of that, I'll just do the easy play. I should draw first. I should draw first. Okay. It did not change the play. Hooray! Free removal is free! All right. So, um, we're in a pretty good position, which is good to hear, uh, considering the last few games, but... So, right now, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. I don't expect many things to... Yeah, that doesn't bother me over much. Cool. You get an evolution point back, but the problem is I still have a 2-3 that has Bane on it. You know, that. Good for you. I'll just, you know, kill it with the Bane. Unless, of course, I draw into something good. Ooh. All right. I see why you did this. Well, we'll just play down, I think... Uh... Alright, so it's super risky and it's probably not a good idea, but we're going for the Azazel play. Because I don't think I can be bursted down. And also, it means that another play like that is not, uh, not really the best. Considering that I might be able to just kill right through it. Yep, you can make it a 6-8. Sure. Neato libido. Still got a dude. Alright. I didn't see how you lost yet, but okay. Hooray! We did it! We won one game! Maybe, maybe not. But for right now, it just seems like... A, any slow deck that I have that isn't exactly a meta deck is not going to perform well. So, in that case, we'll just move on. I'll keep that. Alright. Have a good night. Hope to see you back again tomorrow. Or another day. Alright. So, this is going to be Kiss turn, or uh, Blood Pact. Turn two, uh, Fang Serpent on three, which is cool because I actually use the heal, which is actually kind of rare. Doodly do. Yes, <laughs> my lady. It's not hard to decide what to do on turn one. There's only a couple of options you could possibly have. You're definitely not playing the all one drop deck that I like. All right, cool, thanks. Let me just uh, draw cards and pass the turn. You see how long that took? Not very long. All right, we could play Vite. It depends on what she plays. If she plays something where I'd rather not have any minions left, I'll play down Fang Serpent. If it's something I'd rather just remove, I can do that. All right, we'll play Vite. With the hope that I do something with it, but uh, it seems like this will be another slow deck, so I'm probably not going to do much. After that... Why wouldn't you have played... Uh, maybe you just drew it. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to play down the Righteous Devil, because I don't think it's going to be useful. So, we'll just play down a 2-5, and that's fine. So, what you got? Four mana? It's plenty to do a lot. Uh, Mint, your necromancy effects cause zero shadows until he leaves. You gonna evolve him? Yep, that's what I thought. I'm gonna remove it immediately. Yes? Really? 
Okay. So now we remove that casually with the Scarlet Saber. And then the 1-1. One, one. And then we hit face. And we were, we were never going to leave that up because that was always going to be a problem. Yes. Okay, last words. So, it seems like it's another one of those trying to hit me in the face for a lot of damage. That being the case, I think I'd actually like to play out my two little guys here and just hit face. Because, why not? You're not stopping me. You could play a field wipe, but I don't think I care that much. Neato. Okay. Still protected. Cool. All right, you want to Evo it? That'd be fun. Because otherwise, I'm just going to trade a 2-4 into it. Because my 2-4 has Ward. Or my has Bane. Let's see, other options are deal 3. That's not enough. Uh, I could deal four to it. That'd be enough, but I'd rather, I think, trade off the little one. Well, actually, hmm. Yeah, if I trade off the Bane, or I could hit it with this, I get a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's very awkward, and I don't like that very much. So I think I will just go for trade this off, play down this, because it makes my turn quite easy. Cool. So they're at six, which I kind of don't understand. I could have just built an aggro deck and done this, but whatever. Kawaii! Okay. Sure. Neato. Three, four, five, six, seven. Really? Okay. We'll just trade into it. Because I can't silence it. So we'll just hit it. Yeah, we'll use this one. Cool. I could have played Steno in an attempt to force lethal, but I don't think it would have stuck, so I'd rather keep my removal on hand. Because now I have Steno and Hungering Horde, which is great. Okay. Yeah, I think I lose anyway. Ooh. Did I not just auto lose to Mordecai? Wow. Yeah, I think I really need to put in uh, my delightful friend uh, Fujisan. Okay, cool. Let me just steno real quick. Neato! Alright. Next. I mean, maybe you had Mordecai in your hand. If that's the case, then I have a strong chance of winning. That's pretty cool. I don't usually do that! Oh, loot! Yo, loot! Okay, give it to the 1-1. One, one. Why? Uh, I think this is completely random, too. Yeah. That's unfortunate for me. So, let's just remove all of the stuff, because there's no point in doing anything else. I could evolve this, but I won't. Because this threatens lethal on its own, and it's not like I really get closer to threatening lethal. So, I'll just go with nope. I had to use two cards to take care of loot, but on the other hand, I also have stuff on a board which just represents lethal. Yo! Nito Libido! I probably should have evolved. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, let's Blood Pact. Okay, then we're gonna drop, I think, this. 
and then we're going to Evo this. And then we're just going to hit face. And then do nothing, because we don't have to. Kill Trade, because he has to. Hopefully he can't remove everything else. If he does, then I have to probably Revelation, which is unfortunate, but... Yo, it's the Immortal Thane. That doesn't seem like you can remove my stuff, though. Impious Resurrection. Okay. I mean, that's neat and all, but... You know, you still die. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll kill him with the 1-1. One -one. I probably should have evoed the first time, but my aggro instincts are low because I've been playing control. So, alright. With that one, I know that I lost everybody, unfortunately, but... I'm actually going to shift on over to playing League of Legends, because I would like to. And I've been playing Shadowverse for an hour and a half, and uh, yeah, no, I'm done with ladder for now. So